So Danny, you have a, a much larger ship to, to uh, reorient, but have, what, what kinds of things um, have you instituted or, or have you ditched even um, in, in order to kind of meet these this series of challenges that we've just talked about? Uh, well, first of all, I, I fully agree with Nina. This this is an amazing industry, and let's just, just not forget what we do. We're in the business of making people feel better. We're not sending people to the moon, and we're not curing cancer. We are hopefully a business that is about hospitality, which is about giving you a couple hours in your day or your life that that take care of you, and they're on your side. And, and if you think about it, if you have a toxic workplace and the food is not being prepared with love and people are not feeling included uh, who work at the restaurant, how in the world can we possibly achieve our greater mission of hospitality? And, you know, a lot of what's been going on in this industry, even when you have a really positive culture, uh, which I believe we've had for years, you learn when you peel back the onion layers, it could be a whole lot better. And there have been people who have been left out and not included and, and perhaps not nearly uh, as diverse of a workforce as we need going forward. And so what we've done is to take a really hard look at ourselves. Uh, we have hired outside uh, advisors to help hold, hold up the mirror to us and show us where we can do a lot better. And it, it's truly about doing a much, much better job of, I think, listening and, and measuring and, and asking yourselves, where do you wanna be? And then holding yourselves accountable for getting there. So one of the things we've done for the first time this year is to actually publish on our Union Square Hospitality Group website, all of our diversity statistics, as well as what our goals are. And so on a quarterly basis, we can let anyone know who either wants to work in our company or, or might say this would be a reason I would choose to dine with that group. And let me see what they say that they wanna do and, and let's see how they're doing. And that's something we just never thought of before. But I've always believed that when you measure something that matters to you, it, it'll get better. Uh, it's, it's something that somebody told me pretty soon after the George Floyd murder and we were looking at the diversity statistics in terms of the, the, the both the gender and racial makeup of our company was, yeah, we need to do a lot better there, but that's only a start because they said, think about it. If, if you were throwing a party and you invited more people that created a more diverse population, but you ignored them during the party and didn't make people feel welcome during the party, that's almost worse than if you had not invited them in the first place. And so we're truly taking a look at every aspect of it. 